the Joe Rogan experience. I can't wait till like I'm done with the sport and I can actually do stuff that'll make me feel good. Like, <laughs> you know, instead of like waking up broken every day, I'll be like, oh, I can do a little bit of yoga. I like to hike that kind of stuff. <laughs> you yeah, know? you're looking forward to a normal life. Yes, exactly. What what injuries have you had? Um, I my, the the first. Uh, the amateur show I was doing, I actually, I competed. Brian Shaw, who was on the TV show with us, he's four-time World's Strongest Man winner out of Colorado. He was hosting an amateur show in Colorado, and I I was in Santa Cruz training, ocean, sea level. Went up to outside of Denver to compete at the show and fucking had a heart attack. It was so, so hard. But uh, it was the deadlift. It was, it was like maybe... <sighs> two two months after i started deadlifting maybe three months so i'd never really deadlifted and we were deadlifting a car the back end of a car and they made it heavy so it was probably for amateurs heavy is about like 800 840 pounds something like that so um i'm winning the show and and i'm doing it in front of four-time world's strongest man winner who already i had my sights on him like i was coming for him you know like i that's like when i first started i was like okay this guy's the best this guy's the best i'm coming for that guy so i wanted i wanted to show out you know so i go out and i i pull the car up i do the first rep and i was like just basically it took 90 percent of everything i had for that first rep but uh, like a meathead, I was like, oh, I'll pull the second one, you know? It's, it's four reps. So I go pull the second one. About halfway up, my, my lower back pops, and I just let go. My, both my legs went stiff, and then they went numb completely. I fall forward into Brian's arms, actually, as he's judging me. And my legs were numb uh, like maybe two months straight and then off and on for like two years. Whoa. They were just so bad. I, uh, for, the, for that first two months – I actually ended up in I finished that show, ended up in second place, qualified for nationals, which was my goal so I could get my pro card. I went home, started training for nationals with numb legs and had to sleep in my pickup truck cuz I wouldn't I couldn't lay down. And we had we had a studio at the time, no chairs, we just had a bed. And so I would sleep in my pickup truck, get up, drive to the gym, go train. And looking back, like, yeah, that was stupid. It was really stupid. But uh, that's uh, once I'd failed at football uh, in my eyes, I'd failed once, once I kind of painted myself in this corner, I was just like, I'm just, I'm just not going to lose. And you never got an MRI. No, <laughs> I ha didn't have insurance. Fuck. But broke. even now you don't want to get a look. See, I uh, kind of do. I mean, it feels good now. I mean, I should take a peek. Uh, I'm, I might, <laughs> I need. To, I'm gonna go get my Achilles checked out because at this current, this last World Strongest Man, I had a, a a decent pop in my Achilles, and so I'm I'm gonna get that checked out. But I've been been really careful about how I uh, rehab stuff like that. But you're right. Yes, I should check out my back. That is crazy though that your legs were numb for two years. Yeah, off and on. They off were straight on. numb for about two months. Straight numb, like someone could stab you in the leg. Like like a sleep. Oh, okay. Like that. Yeah, and it was sciatic. It was I yeah. pinched my sciatic is basically oh, sure. what I was told, and so, you know, I'd figure that out. Then, then um, after that, I I was in Africa and I ripped my uh, bicep off the tendon, and um, I, I I'd been getting beaten up a lot at that point. And like my first year, world strongest man, it was so easy for me to get to the finals. I kind of just was like, you know, fucking. You know, it's, it's whatever. I, I, don't know, I don't have to work for this. I am the strongest man without having to work for it. And then got into Africa after being beaten up a lot and kind of getting my head pushed down in the sand for two years in a row and ripped that off. And I was just like, I'm done. Like I in my head, like I just I thought I was done. And I remember walking out by the river and sitting there and just feeling like broken, just like I didn't know what I was going to do with myself or anything like that. And I walked back to the tent and the uh, the referees were telling me like, you know, get your stuff. They don't they don't want you that once you get hurt, they have to fly you home right away. They they don't let you stay and watch the finish or any of that shit. They they really? make you leave. Yeah. Why? I think it's a liability thing. I don't know. Oh. Basically. They just gotta get rid of you. But the 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 judge for the show was like, Hey, we're doing the what's called the Hercules hold and, and you're up. Are you gonna do it? And the Hercules hold means you reach you reach out with both arms here like this and um you have like a, a handle like basically like uh like in the gym you know the row handles mm -hmm. like that attached to a tower that's falling and you right. hold it as long as you possibly can and uh in my mind i was like this is the last time i'm ever gonna be here so i might as well leave some fucking blood on the bar 
So I walked out and did it. And uh, <laughs> the torn bicep off the bone. Yeah, uh, ten the tendon. So I went over there, and I was just like, "Fuck it, like let's let's at least leave a mark, you know." Like I had to do something. Did you tape it up or anything? What are you gonna tape up? Like right. it's not. I mean, like it's like fully extended your arm. It's basically just taking weight, pulling you, and it, so it's not direct like curling hurting, right. but it's it's yanking a tendon further in in up into your bicep, and I felt it creeping up into my shoulder ah. as I was doing it, and I I did great I actually. Uh, I, it was the best event I'd had that year. <laughs> you know, I crushed it, and I remember just closing my eyes and being gone. And just if when I let go, it was almost like being baptized, man. Like I felt like all the pain and all the stress, everything I'd felt like build up once I'd gotten hurt, I just dumped it all. And then it took me. It took me. Uh, I think it was two more years. I finally fought back. I thought I was done, and then last year. I, I made it back into the finals. I, I was, I'm now, again, top 10 strongest man in the world. And so is it was it because of surgery and rehab? Surgery, or? and then everything else was so beat up. Once I, once I finally stepped back, I was like, like there's, there's no reason I should have to take an hour to, to be able to walk in the morning. Yeah. You know, like there's no reason why my back should hurt from walking from the front door to the car. You know, like yeah. I was so wrecked. And so I just started working on different things, trying to take care of myself. And I got back to Worlds um, with that next year, actually. I got back and I just didn't do well because I, I hadn't been able to do anything. And then uh, came back the following year, which was just this last year. And, uh, you know, I basically i've been written off it was it was i was told it was my last time i was getting invited because at this point like you're done you know like it's yeah. it's time for you to find something else and uh came out and i i've had the show in my life it was I've, I've been working so hard but you never know how strong you are until you line up you never know like what kind of athlete you are until you get tested right so i got i lined up and i i got done i just crushed when i'm when i finished I loaded that the stone, and I knew I was in the finals. Like, dude, I, I get emotional just thinking about it right now. Like, it just felt like somebody had just washed all that away. Wow. You know, I remember ripping my shirt off. <laughs> I, I am a fucking showman, I'll tell you that. <laughs> like, I had my strong and pretty shirt underneath, and I ripped my world's strongest man shirt and showed my strong and pretty shirt, and I was just <laughs> roaring. And we were in, in Malaysia, and, like, everybody just kind of, like, stepped back a little bit. <laughs> It was awesome, man. So what kind of stuff feeling. did you do to try to rehab your body, to try to get your body back into condition? Ton, tons of core work, tons of stretching, and, uh, like, basically just digging out scar tissue is huge. It's, yeah. it's huge. Like, a lot of people use, like, a Theragun and stuff like that. I went the cheap route. I took a Black & Decker skill saw, mm -hmm. and I, I got the stuff attachments, put it all together. It cost me, like, 65 bucks. <laughs>